this is on copper sulfate so copper sulfate is kind of a blue in color and it's a crystalline solid let's see more on the copper sulfate copper sulfate blue vitriol copper sulfate with water aqueous copper sulfate that's called blue vitriol in laboratory it is prepared by dissolving the cupric oxide or cupric hydroxide of copper carbonate or cupric carbonate so we are going to discuss more on the uses of copper sulfate this is one area we are going to focus more so copper sulfate with the 5 H2O it's called as a blue vitriol in laboratory it is prepared by dissolving the cupric oxide or cupric hydroxide or cupric carbonate it can be a copper carbonate too in dilute sulfuric acid it provides you copper sulfate water and carbon dioxide so copper sulfate it's also called as a blue vitriol the anhydrous salt is colorless but the hydrated salt is blue in color it readily dissolves in water i am adding water you are able to see it becomes blue it readily dissolves in water but is insoluble it's a blue color now but it is insoluble in alcohol action of heat on heating carbon co copper sulfate it's blue vitriol it loses its water this is how it will be so let's talk about the action of potassium cyanide you are able to see copper sulfate with the potassium cyanide gives a yellow precipitate of cupric cyanide so on potassium sulfate cupric cyanide once again decomposes to give cyanogen gases now let's talk about the action of alkalis with alkalis a pale blue precipitate of copper hydroxide is formed copper sulfate plus sodium hydroxide give copper hydroxide and sodium sulfate we'll discuss on how it is acting on the hydrogen sulfide it gives a black precipitate of copper sulfide and sulfuric acid so copper sulfate with the hydrogen sulfide gives the copper sulfide and sulfuric acid 